Right, ladies and gentlemen, also, we, we've got a big charity bout um, for a young man, and both the two boxers here are specifically, there's no other reason they're boxing than to earn money for this young man. So can we have a big shout out, please, to John Upton and Andrew Brooks. John, Andrew, let's come on up to stage, please. So we've got John to my left, Andrew to my right, and, and John, if we start with you, as I said, it's, it's, it's for, to, to fund a wheelchair for a young man called Lewis. Fill us in on the background, please, as to why you're doing this. Well, my best mate, Gavin, obviously, his son is uh, living with muscular dystrophy, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and uh, obviously, the, it, the expensive equipment and ease, you know, they, they can't fund everything, you know, I'm just trying to help out where I can, you know, and this is the only thing I could think of doing to help him out. Well, funny you should say that because I was just thinking myself there's easier ways to raise money. If you don't mind me asking, why did you think it had to be boxing? Yeah, obviously, I, I've always trained anyway. I've never really done boxing as such, but I've, uh, I've always sort of like, you know, hit the bag and gone down the club and stuff. So uh, I just thought a tub of baked beans, it's not really going to raise that much money. So, you know, people will pay to watch me boxing, you know, and I want to get good doing it and look good. You took the words out of my mouth. It's one thing to do it for charity, but also you've got to have that mindset as well. It's boxing, you're going to get hit. It's, it's great to have a bigger goal, and it is a wonderful bigger goal, but you've also got to look at it's a tough, tough business. It is, and I've been training really hard, and I know, I know what's involved. You know, I've been fighting like 18-year-olds. They've been kicking me around the gym, and, uh, but I've been taking it. You know, I, I know I can do it, you know, and I, I want to look convincing. You know, that's what I want to do. Well, let's talk to your opponent because, again, he's doing that for exactly the same reason. Andrew, you heard what John said. Your motivation for this? Uh, yeah, well, um, when uh, Rich and Dean uh, talked to me about uh, wanting to fight for charity, my original thought was to, to do something for charity myself. But then listening to Lewis's story um, completely changed that aspect and to raise money for Lewis... He is on the back of our shirts, it says Ultimate Warrior, and he really is um, a truly amazing young man, uh, speaking to his uh, family members as well. So when the call came in, and I'm, I'm no spring chicken now, so getting a fight, uh, I don't know how many more I've got left, but this, it means a lot to, to John, it means a lot to Lewis's family, and it means a lot to us as a West Oxen Boxing who are raising money for it as well. As I said, it's, it's for a wonderful cause, an individual young man, um, Lewis. So we've got a goal in mind. But also, again, as I said to John, it's boxing as well. I take it you want to win. Absolutely. There's going to be two winners. There's Lewis, who's already won as far as I'm concerned. And I'm going to train hard. I'm training hard to make sure that I'm the other one. Well, Rich, if you grab that mic there, you, you, you've got two very respectful men for a good cause and a young man that they're supporting. But when you made this match, I imagine you're also thinking it's got to be entertaining for the crowd as well. These two men want to win. Yeah, definitely they want to win. But, but ultimately, the reason, the reason we're here is because of, the, because of young Lewis and, and we need to raise money for this wheelchair. So in this video, we're going to put the, the link up, John. Uh, so, you know, what I would like to do now is to say to everyone watching, you know, please, you know, it's a tough time for everyone, but if we could maybe just donate one pound, two pound, that, if everyone did that, we, we could get that wheelchair next week. But what these men are doing, they're, you know, commissions and things, and on the night we're gonna be doing stuff as well, John. And I know even your opponent, your, the, your opponent's own gym, are sporting the same T-shirt, and we're gonna hear from them in a little bit, but they're even helping as well, which is absolutely amazing. They're actually fighting each other, but ultimately the key thing is, we need, we're raising money for this, for this little lad's wheelchair. And I would like to think maybe on the night, the crowd will get involved in the boxes themselves. You know, if, you know, if we all helped, uh, we, we, can, we can achieve that goal. And that's why we're here. Yeah, and, and final words from me. As I said at the beginning, and I mean it, there are so many easier ways to raise money for charity. So full respect to both of you and all the best for you both on the night. Fantastic cause, lads. I wish you all the best. I just want to add on to that, you know, we, we mentioned about Pedro traveling a long way. We've got, I mean, third, he's in the background somewhere. He's traveled, you know, he lives in London, but he's traveled from Manchester to get here. You know, John's traveled all the way from, like, you know, Colville and Leicestershire. So some people have traveled a silly 
and Mount and, you know, dedicated their day. So uh, I can have a round of applause for everyone that's made a super effort, even the locals <laughs> making plans. Thank you very much.